What is going on everyone, Zinner Productions here, welcome back to another video. So today guys, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how you can rank up fast in Black Ops 3. So now this is pretty cool actually, now this is something I got off Team Martin's channel. I get a lot of my ideas off Team Martin by the way. Uh, anything like that's technical part about Call of Duty, like how to do things like tips and tricks and stuff for Black Ops 3, I will most likely be getting from him or some other big YouTuber. I will not really find much of these things by myself to be true, so... Let's go ahead and hop into this. I know this is true for a fact. So, in case you don't know, this is double XP weekend. Uh, I think it's the first double XP weekend we've had in Black Ops 3 cycle. So, let's go ahead and hop into it, guys. I'm going to talk about a couple things that really help you rank up in Black Ops 3. So, the first thing that really helps you rank up in this game in particular are the challenges. The challenges in this game are actually really, really rewarding this year, guys. The challenges are a massive thing you really want to help yourself out with. And I feel like it, the challenges in this game, they reward you so much better. Even David Vondar himself said challenges are the best way to rank up in this game. So go ahead and do some challenges, complete some challenges, figure those things out. And then if you're able to do that, then you'll be getting a lot of XP. The next thing we have here are the game modes. This is, this is the big main thing that people want to know. What gives you the most XP? What makes you level up the fastest? And the best game modes to play that I've found and what other people have found in Black Ops 3 to get the most XP is Kill Confirmed and Search and Destroy. Now, Search and Destroy for me is always been a big XP boost. It's always been a big XP thing. Um, Search and Destroy to me, it's always been massive. It's always been such a big XP thing for me, especially in Advanced Warfare. I don't know if you guys remember my video on how to rank up in Advanced Warfare. But in Advanced Warfare, you were able to get... Mon tons and tons of XP, a good up to at least like 40,000 XP from a search and destroy single match if you got at least like 17 kills. I mean, it was crazy, almost absurd. But in Black Ops 3, search and destroy isn't that rewarding. Anyways, in search and destroy, you're able to get a lot of XP. But another thing that I just said was kill confirm. Kill confirm actually is great. If you get a lot of kills and kill confirm, if you're one of those like run and gun sort of people, go out there and play some kill confirm. You get 100 XP this year for picking up one of your own tags that you got a kill with. And your uh, teammates will give you 25 XP if they pick up one of your tags that you killed someone with. So go ahead and try some kill confirm, guys. But other than that, just go ahead and do your thing. What I do on a double XP weekends, you see what I'm doing right here with the SMG, I just like to run and gun because. I feel like I get the most XP whenever I'm running and gunning uh, with uh, some machine gun or something like that on double XP week. I feels like I feel like it gives me the most XP, which is great. So, um, and the last thing that I have here that really opened my eyes and really something I haven't really thought about, but is really true, is use UAV and counter UAV. UAV and counter UAV because they're so close together this year on the score streaks at least that you're able to cycle through them really fast and really quickly. If you use the counter UAV and the UAV both at the same time. You'll be able to get them, you'll call them in, and then you won't even really have to work for them. Any kill that your teammates get will count as about 25 XP, or 25 points, to get you the assists that you need, and then it'll add up, they'll all add up, and you'll just be cycling through your little streaks again, and you won't have to worry about actually even getting kills. If you get, like, two sets of those, you should have no problem just recycling through those for the rest of the game, You and it'll benefit you and your team, because you'll have a constant flow of UAV and counter UAVs up in the air that'll leave the door open for your other teammates to help them get the bigger kill streaks to help you win the game, so... It's just a massive, great thing to help you guys out with. If you, if you want to run a higher kill streak, like a third kill streak, I, I, I like to run the Cerebus. If you guys want to go ahead and like try like a higher kill streak, go ahead and do that. That's really stopping you. That'll, that'll even, you know, it'll help you reach it. But the thing with the County UAV and the CUAV, it's easier to cycle through with, the, with just the two kill streaks set. But that's just my opinion, guys. That's just what a couple of other people's opinions are. Let me know what your big idea is for leveling up in Black Ops 3, guys. That's all I've time for today. Let me know how you're leveling up in Black Ops 3. Let me know what you think is the best way to level up in Black Ops 3. I will be seeing you guys all later with another brand new video. Take care. Have a nice day. And goodbye.